In part two, we're going to have a look how to resize objects by using commands like stretching, scaling, extending, trimming, etc. You can resize objects by stretching, scaling, extending, lengthening, and trimming them. To stretch an object, you will specify a base point for the stretch and then two points of displacement. So we going to select the object, type in stretch. You can also select modify stretch from the menu or click on the icon. Select the base point, click with the stretch and voila. As we can see these two lines now is not touching the boundary of this object. We're going to select that object and using the extend command to so that they end precisely on the boundary type extent and just click on the lines. Once you're done, press enter. We can also remove parts of the object with a break command. You can type in break or select the icon, modify break. We're going to specify the first point and then the second point and then it has created a gap there. When we explode objects, it takes a single object and it breaks it into parts. It has no visible effect, but take note, when you explode blocks or objects, the attributes and information does change. Here we can, here we can see we have a polyline. We're going to click on it, type explode. And you will see now it is broken into single lines. Camfering connects two non-parallel objects with a beveled line at the command prompt type in camfer. We're going to look at the option trim. No trim mode leaves the corner lines and trim mode removes the corner lines. We're going to specify the distance. Going to make it 40. I'm going to keep the second one 40. I'm going to click on the first line, click on the second line, and voila. Filleting is almost the same as camfer except it, it connects two objects with a smoothly fitted arc or a specified radius. I'm going to type in fillet. I'm going to select the first object, select the second object. But now you see nothing has happened because we haven't specified a radius and there's no closely fit arc. So we're going to make that at 35 degrees. Select the first object, select the second object. And there it is. Now what we can see it is the second line here is now extending on the boundary of the arc over there. And there we can also just Use the trim command to let it touch the boundary, and we're going to click outside the boundary to fit it precisely. We scale selection search using the same scaling factor in the x and y directions. Thus, you can make an object larger or smaller, but you cannot change the ratio. Here we got code select. Scale, we're going to specify the base point. One is going to do nothing. If you want it smaller, we're going to type in 0 0.5. You can see it is smaller. I'm going to select it again and we're going to make it bigger. Specify the base point. Now we're going to type in 2. As big as 1 and then it will change it. In the next lesson, we're going to have a look how to use object snapping and AutoCAD.